How's it going Guardians? Shifty here and in today's video I'm going to be doing a guide on how to do the Perdition Legend Lost Sector fast. In this one I'm going to be showing you a run on all three classes in under two minutes each. Also I'm including live commentary to give you some tips along the way and explain my strategy. Now before I get into my loadout, if you end up enjoying the video, make sure to hit that like button and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. Alright to start things off I'm going to go over my subclass and exotic choice for each class. On my Warlock I'm running Chaos Reach with Geomag Stabilizers. On my Titan I'm running Middle Tree Striker with Dune Marchers. And finally on my Hunter I'm using Bottom Tree Arc Strider with Raid and Flux. Then for my weapons in my Kinetic slot I have the Wither Horde. For my Energy Weapon I have the Sorrows vs Arc Auto Rifle and this is for Barrier Champions as well as Arc Shields. Then for my Heavy Weapon I have the Bequest Sword and this does Arc Damage as well and arc damage is boosted by 50% in this legend loss sector due to arc burn. This is going to be for overload champions and also to break arc shields. If you don't have the sorrows verse auto rifle you could always swap that out for something like arc logic. Likewise if you don't have the bequest sword you could always use temptations hook or honors edge. I also believe that the sword from the moon does arc damage as well. And my armor mods are basically the same on all three classes so I'm just going to show them to you once on my warlock. I'm going to quickly show you each piece of armor and if you need to see anything in more detail, just pause the video. Alright and that is it for my loadout in this one. There will be timestamps if you want to skip to a particular run, otherwise let's jump right into it. Alright right off the bat I'm going to go ahead and take out this harpy down to my right, then a grenade and wither horde on my harpies to the left. And then I'm going to immediately sword that Hydra. And I'm going to try to sword as many of these enemies as possible. Likewise up here. And I'm going to try to use my Sorrow's Verse on any enemies that I left behind like that. And now we can move on to the next area. In this area I'm going to Wither Horde there. Shoot a Goblin off to my right. Lure this Minotaur to me. And the Overload Champion is down. I'm going to place Wither Horde out there. And then head off to the left with my sword. Here there's going to be a Barrier Champion. A couple of Light Attacks and a Heavy Attack on the Champion should take it down. There's going to be some more enemies. But I like to retreat to the opening of the room and wait for this Void Shielded Minotaur. As you can see, there is another Wyvern up there. Wyvern should go down. Take out some of these goblins here. Take out that barrier champion and that should be the last goblin and then we should be at the boss fight. During the boss fight I'm going to head immediately to the back of the room, place a wither horde shot near the boss and I'm going to go ahead and super immediately. As soon as the boss is down I'm going to go ahead and grab the chest. And there we have it, that was a quick platinum completion of the Perdition Legend Lost Sector on a Warlock. Now I'm going to show you quick runs on a Titan and a Hunter as well. Alright so my strategy here is going to be similar to my Warlock, I'm going to go ahead and do that. But now I'm going to use Ballistic Slam instead. Take out this Hydra if I can. If not, that's alright. I'll have another opportunity a little bit later. I'm going to go ahead and spam my sword here. And then, now that these enemies are spawning, I'm going to head up here. And I'm going to continue my sword spam. Notice that Harpies are too far away. I'm just going to swap to my Auto Rifle. And now we can move on to the next area. where I'm immediately going to place Wither Horde and take out a few goblins and try to lure this Overload Champion to me. Focus on the Overload Champion, place some Wither Horde where those fanatics are. Like my Warlock run, I'm going to head up to the left here. I don't know that I got that Hydra yet, unfortunately. But I will get these wyverns down. I'm 
And here's a Void Shielded Minotaur where I'm going to use my sword again, like usual. Use my Auto Rifle to finish off the Hydra. And now I can head to the boss room. So in that case, my Wither Horde was damaging that barrier champion, in which case I had to wait for the barrier. But either way, we still made it to the chest and we did it in under two minutes on a Titan. Now, all I have left to show you is a run on a Hunter. Again, the strategy is not going to differ a whole heck of a lot here. I'm going to go ahead and use my sword on this Hydra. This time I did get it down right away. And I got several of those harpies down as well. I'm going to go ahead and sort a bunch of these enemies on my way up to the overload champion that's spawning. I'm going to go ahead and just spam my sword here. And what do we have left for harpies down here? There's a couple left. And now we can move on. Here I'm going to go ahead and place my wither horde like usual. Lure the overload to me. Wither Horde a bunch of fanatics and let my heavy attack recharge on my sword. Immediately head off to my left here. That was a close one. Almost didn't get it. And I'm going to die here. I didn't quite die. That was a close one. You have a Void Shielded Minotaur coming my way. Try to take out some of these goblins while my Wither Horde does work on that Wyvern. Almost ended up dying to the Wyvern, of course. Take out those two goblins, and then I'm going to head over here for this Barrier Champion. That was a weird interaction. Either way, we're going to make it to the boss fight. I'm going to place Wither Horde down here and then immediately pop my super. Do a light, light, heavy and head to the chest. And there we have it. I've done a platinum completion of the Perdition Legend Gloss Sector in under two minutes on every class. I hope that this video helps you out in your attempts to farm this particular Legend Gloss Sector. It's one of the faster ones right now. So it's always a good one to farm whenever it pops up in the rotation. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you did end up enjoying it, make sure to like and subscribe. I just want to thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.